Hey, how's it going? This is Nick Len with Revere Real Estate. Wanted to speak just a moment on the different types of slabs. So in Southern California, right, we don't have basements um, for the most part, right, unless you're doing a subterranean. Um, but we don't do basements, so what we do is called slab on grade. So when we're doing this, we grade the property and then we put the concrete slabs or the footprints of the buildings uh, once all the rebar is set and then we pour. Now there's two different types of pours. The one is what's called a monolithic pour, which is what we did here. You see that this entire thing, all of the, the edge here, so this is a stem wall, all of this is poured all in one go. Now in some of our other projects, we actually do a two pour system where we set all the rebar on the footings. Basically, if you were to look from an aerial view, you see the building envelopes, the entire perimeter of the property. We do a separate pour, build up the footings, all of the piles in the ground for structural support, for the structural calculations when we're in pre-development. All of that's done by engineers. And then we pour the footings and we'll have that perimeter set, let that cure. And then we do a second pour where we have rebar going into the footings that tie in to then the slab. So it's just a little bit of a different process. Uh, we've, we've been asked the question, why does that? Why is that? Like, what are the differences or what are the benefits or disadvantages of doing a monolithic pour or a two pour? And really, I, I would advise that you consult with an engineer on that, a structural engineer, but essentially the, the, the main difference that we see is it just, it creates a different a sort of structural integrity of the property of whether or not needed it, needed it or not. And in this case, we're able to just do a one pour monolithic pour system where we can just pour and then start building up. The other thing too is one of the things that we're always mindful of at this stage is the next conversation when you're talking about foundation, which is essentially what the pour is, is all of the different hold downs um, and all of the different anchor bolts that go in. So if you'll look here, we have, this is a hold down right here. So this is a J bolt hold down that goes down in, that's laid by a form, attached to the form. And then when they pour, this bolt here is actually secured by the concrete. And then we have this hold down here that ties in and adds structural integrity to the rest of the property. Um, so just little things. If you'll see here, there's a bunch more of them here. So these are hold downs here. Anchor bolts, this is an HDX. HDX looks like an HDX 8. And these are a little bit larger and they have a spiral at the bottom of it. It's actual hold down. Whereas these are just J bolts. These are anchor bolts with a little hook at the bottom. So you wanna look at your foundation plans usually on S1 of the field set. And we'll link a, a, a picture of that right now to SD1 on the field set.